How's it going? We got a little, uh, I don't want to say it's an unboxing because I'm not opening a, a box. I got a, I'm packaging it. I'm packaging. Uh, I went Brass Pro yesterday. Saw something pretty cool. And then, uh, long story short, I got a hold of a $25 gift card. So I went back and got it for eight bucks, uh, seven bucks. I also I donated like 90 cents or something. They gave me the sticker, but it was basically $8 legit. Look at that. $8 purchase. That's what it came out to. Just had a $25 gift card it was seven dollars and some change and then 90 cents for a donation i just uh, evened it out to eight bucks it's a gerber hatchet that you can wear like on your hip you can also take this top clip part part off and just have this piece and you can wear it as a neck knife dangling or just have it in your pocket we're gonna open this with uh, a neck knife. Either I can use this Kershaw that I have that says protect your neck, like the Wu Tang Clan. I think that's kind of cool. We got this. This is new. I actually haven't even used it. I'll probably use this. So, uh, Columbia River Spew. It's like a minimalist, but tightly, uh, tightly, slightly larger, just slightly, like that much, literally. It's literally basically a minimalist, but that much more. And I got this cool uh, Spider Co. Delica Warncliffe that I had a Karambit style. Um, ring installed i did that myself it's kind of stripped a couple of these screws but that's what happens when you don't take it to a professional but i won't be taking it apart or anything actually you know what i'm just going to use this because i like this knife let's see what we got to do we got a sheath and a knife in here this is pretty cool it's uh 30 bucks pretty much everywhere you go look on the internet 30 to 35 bucks I saw it for the first time literally yesterday. Like I've s sort of seen it on the internet. Uh, apparently, I don't need the uh, the knife. I can just rip it. But yeah, anyways, I saw the uh, knife for the first time yesterday, and I was like, man, that thing is it's pretty sweet. Um, came home and I looking it up I swear YouTube and uh, where Facebook stocks you somehow they knew showing me ads and other weird stuff and we got a pretty cool sheath down here it's got a little stain there I don't know what that is uh, some this came off. I'm not sure if this is actual Kydex or is it uh, Kydex like. Um, I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I don't know where my hex screw is. I got a screw kit though somewhere. Uh, here's what we came for. It's got these little plastic uh, edge bumpers. It's only for the edge, though. It's not for the rest of the blade. Sorry, I'm looking. It's a two and a half ish inch. Let's see, comparable to the spew blade length. The blade length. Slightly larger than a spew. 
just slightly. It's pretty cool. Um, let's put my Delica next to it. Actual blade to blade. Come back a little bit there. It's larger than a Delica as well. Blade to blade. And lastly, I have that. I definitely believe this is longer. My, uh, I don't even know what this is called, a Kershaw something. Brawler or something, I don't remember what it's called. My, yeah, the Kershaw is slightly longer, just by a, a tiny bit though, right there. Maybe about an inch, half inch. Uh, designed in Portland, Oregon. I like this. Oop, says I'm low on battery. Yay, 15%. I'd like to take these, uh, It's hard to do this like this. I don't want to cut myself. How about that? Oh, that's what I heard. So apparently this, this needs to come off because it kind of makes it hard to pull it. There you go. That helps. But yeah, if you take this uh, plastic uh, belt loop off, it makes it easier to... Um, sheath and unsheath, which I am going to do. Uh, problem is my screws uh, driver uh, screw kit is at my restaurant and not here where it probably should be. But then again, uh, most of the time I'm doing stuff like this at my shop, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got a cool little sticker with it. I wish I would have got a Gerber sticker. That would have been kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I definitely like it. It's heavy. This needs to be pushed down. It's hard to see because I'm wearing a black shirt. Oh, all my clothes, for the most part, is black. Maybe if you hold it like a gun. Yeah, that makes it easier. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this clip off once I get to the shop. Get open cool boxes with it. I don't know. I got it for eight bucks. It was 30 bucks. I didn't want to buy it for 30 bucks. And then uh, a buddy of mine came through. Ridiculous. Definitely like it. It's, um, I don't know. Let me see if I got a screwdriver set. Hold on. And I found a hex kit. So, let's take this stupid, lame belt loop plastic off. So huge. Look at this. Look at that. Just leave it with this. That's a lot better. I mean, you might even could put it this way. I don't even know why they didn't do that. Flip it this way, right? You can put it this way. This isn't even as bad. Yet yeah, it's still not as bad. You still run it through your uh, belt loop like this, or you can have it on the other side like this, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed. I guess you could have this flipped around. Drop this little rubber, rubber part that 
fills in between this little gap. But yeah, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed, you could uh, either, if you wanted to wear it low, this could be on your side like this, and uh, you could take it out this way, unless, or if you are um, right-handed, you could do it this way on your right side of your body, and then deploy it this way. Unless you do it cross arm this way, I don't think anybody's gonna do it. Oops, sorry, I don't think anybody's gonna do it this way on their loop. The blade facing forward. I think it would be blade facing backward. So it's like this. But the way they give it to you, like this, is stupid. I guess it makes it the packaging easier, but I feel like. They would have made it this way. Actually, this probably weighs the best. And then you have a, a little gap. It would be a gap like that. But then you would have that push. So, like I said, probably, literally, this would probably be your best way of uh, having it. Oh, no. I kind of like it like this and just throw it in your backpack or your fanny pack, your front pouch pack, or. Um, your pocket, I have it in my pocket. Just a piece of the blade is, the handle is hanging out. Sorry, it's a blade. But a, a piece of the handle is hanging out. You just pull it out. It's kind of cool. I was thinking about getting some paracord and wrapping, changing the color on some of this stuff. I might even get a paracord on this. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Definitely cool. I definitely, um, don't like beads because I, I wear real gold. If you see some of my other videos on gold, I do gold and knives and other things. But uh, all right, well, deuces. It's pretty nice. Very similar to the uh, Boker Erd. Boker Erd. That's that is an actual neck knife. I believe the. Blade specs are the same. The only thing is the handle on the Erd is very, very tiny, very tiny. You literally only hold put two hand, fingers on the Erd. Uh, this one, I can I can put my whole hand on the Erd. I mean on the Erd. I can put my whole hand on this Gerber. Try Try Tip is what it's called, by the way. Probably should have said that a while ago, but you'll see it in the name of the video. Pretty cool, pretty cool little cleaver. It's basically a little pocket cleaver. A little tiny pocket cleaver, neck cleaver. You could wear it as a neck piece. It would actually, you could, you could wear it as a neck cleaver, essentially. I mean, it'd look kind of crazy. I got enough, uh, I could probably take one of these off Find out what it would look like. I got some dope black leather from Monet. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Monet, uh, go look at some of my other videos about uh, gold, uh, 24 karat gold Monet. Here's a Monet ring. I don't know if anyone might, these knife viewers. This is a, a B. So tangled up right now, but yeah, I have some black leather strip uh, that you can put these different type of uh, jewelry that they make through. Uh, it's kind of short, but I might be able to take two of them and um, work my way together and make this into it's it's like black suede, and they have two different type of blacks, black suede and like just plain like black shiny leather, but you know it's you can wear it as a necklace and it kind of. It's not patent looking. It looks kind of uh, bent here and there. So it could actually look really cool. I don't know. I don't like the chain ones, like I said, because I don't like wearing uh, stainless steel around my neck with real gold. It's like a disservice to the gold gods. But uh, definitely a uh, pretty cool little hatchet. I'm going to play with it a little bit. 
and uh, maybe I'll make a video uh, of all my neck knives. I got a lot more than this. My wife has a minimalist on her, and I got another one at the house somewhere, uh, my parents' house. Um, I got a few knives there as well. I got a very cool uh, couple of Kershaws over there that are neck knives. But but anyways, uh, deuces. Ger uh, Gerber try tip it's pretty pretty new I believe it came out this year dope eight bucks got a $25 gift card ended up getting this for eight bucks I wouldn't have bought it I mean I would have at some point but that eight dollars uh, the, the, the the whole it being eight dollars definitely made me uh leave the walmart in my town and drive 30 minutes away and go get this like right then and then awesome times but uh deuces awesome little uh hatchet uh cleaver not a hatchet i guess it's, it is a cleaver it's a mini cleaver mini cleaver tri-tip